Thank you for that great introduction, David. I'm Andy Pickens, and I'm CEO of Jamplify. He spelled out the, the market quite well. We are a social marketing company, and we're enabling digital content creators to harness the power of word of mouth in a way they've never been able to before. In a traditional content release, a digital content creator, whether that's a filmmaker or a blogger or a recording artist, they send their content to their existing fan base over social media, namely Facebook, Twitter, and email. And a small subset of that fan base might actually turn around and share that content onward and send that content to their friends and their social networks and say, I love this video, this song is awesome, you'll appreciate it too. And that's that really powerful word of mouth interaction that we're talking about. And with Jamplify, this digital content creator is able to generate many more instances of that really powerful interaction. With Jamplify, he can incentivize and motivate his fans to act as a marketing force and to get the word out for him about his content. And with Jamplify, he can effectively crowdsource his promotion through his existing fan base. For those who aren't familiar, crowdsourcing is the act of outsourcing a function of your business to a large distributed group of people. And Kickstarter is one of the most successful companies in this space. People draw comparisons between Jamplify and Kickstarter because our model is rather similar to theirs. In the case of Kickstarter, you can crowdfund yourself. You can get a significant amount of dollars in the door from your fans to finance your project. And in the case of Jamplify, you can crowd promote yourself. You can get a significant amount of exposure from your fans driving traffic to your content. In both cases, you get your fans to help by offering them rewards and engagement with you in exchange. And in the end, you get these two disparate outcomes. With a campaign on Kickstarter, you get, and with a campaign on Kickstarter, you get a significant amount of dollars from your fans acting as backers. And in the case of Jamplify, you get a significant amount of exposure from your fans acting as promoters. So to understand how a digital content creator can harness the power of word of mouth with Jamplify, we can consider the use case of a recording artist. And James Gardner is a local musician that recently released a YouTube video with our platform. And he created his Jampaign on Jamplify and sent that to his existing fans. His fans then compete to drive traffic to that video by sharing unique links across social media. Jamplify then tracks and tabulates the amount of traffic that each individual fan drives and ranks the fans by that amount. James then rewards his fans based on the amount of traffic they drive. Rewards on Jamplify are called scratchbacks, and they're similar to Kickstarter's rewards in that they're unique to the content creator, and for that reason, they're particularly engaging. For instance, James offered his top promoters exclusive content and signed merchandise. Um, and to his number one promoter, he actually called that person on Skype to say thanks for promoting. By far the coolest scratchback we've seen on our platform has been a hip hop artist who said for his top promoter, he would actually record that person's voicemail recording. So artists and, and digital content creators get very creative with this. So that's the Jamplify promoter engine. Dedicated users driving other people to view content. And our value proposition with this product for, to, the, to the digital content creator is threefold. First, it's engagement with your core fans. With Jamplify, a digital content creator is able to bring their fans into their business and establish a more intimate relationship with them, which they never would have been able to do otherwise. Next is exposure, and is exposure to new fans. This is the greatest value of Jamplify, that your core fans are driving your content to new viewers and to their friends. And lastly, it's data. It's, we're, we're telling digital content creators who their most influential and socially active fans are, and we're telling them how, how valuable these users are. We're then providing them with the emails of these most valuable users so they can continue that relationship with them. We're also providing demographic analysis of their entire fan base through Facebook Connect regarding location, gender, and age. And this is Jamplify.com, which we launched four weeks ago. And this is James Gardner's Jamplify page. This is a platform where a digital content creator can create a campaign and release either video or audio content and run the Jamplify promoter engine on top of that content living on Jamplify.com. We we've launched this platform, and we have 23 campaigns currently running with over 130 people actively promoting the content on the platform. And in aggregate, they have driven 3,000 or over 3,000 other people to check out the content on the platform. A key statistic for our business is that the average promoter is able to drive 24 other people to view content. This is a significant number for us, as it shows that the average promoter is able to drive real traffic and real value for the content creator that they're supporting. So this is Jamplify.com, where the content and the campaign live on our website. 
But a common thread among digital content creators is that they always want the exposure and the engagement to occur on their own website, rather than hosting content on another platform. And with this in mind, we've built the Jamplify Bar, which enables a website creator to replicate the Jamplify Promoter Engine on their own website. And here you can see the Jamplify bar, which contains all the aspects of Jamplify. It has the buttons to log in, which would create your unique link as a fan with which you can start promoting. It has the leaderboard, which ranks fans based on the amount of traffic they're driving. And it also includes the scratchbacks, or the rewards that are being offered to those fans. And with this platform, this Jamplify bar product, we're, able, we're enabling all sorts of website creators to replicate this Jamplify promoter engine on their own website and motivate their, own, their, their fans to drive this same exposure for content living on their own website. So whether that's another player in the entertainment space, like TV or film, or in an online retail scenario, a retailer using Jamplify as a sort of affiliate marketing program, or on a blog, where blogs can run streamlined contests for their readers. You can see with this product how it's useful for anybody with a website on which they release content and a dedicated, passionate user base. This is the product that makes Jamplify a much broader opportunity and enables us to do business with any type of digital content creator. So we have these two revenue drivers. Jamplify.com, where the content and the contest live on Jamplify, and Jamplify Bar, where the content and the contest live on your website. We have two different revenue models for each of these two platforms, and I'll spell out, I'll spell out how in each case we make money. With Jamplify.com, it's free to create a campaign, and we make our money through advertising. At the onset, we'll be making $5 uh, in terms of CPM, which means every time there are 1,000 views of, a web, of, a, of our website, we make $5. And we're forecasting 2,000 views per campaign based on our launch so far. That's $10 per campaign that we can make, which is pretty nice considering it's a free product. The Jamplify Bar product is a rather more dynamic pricing model in that we charge the website creator on a cost per referral basis. What this means is that any time a fan logs into the Jamplify Bar and posts to Facebook or Twitter and somebody clicks on that post, we consider that click through a referral. And we charge the digital content creator 10 cents per referral. We're forecasting 2,500 referrals per campaign with the Jamplify Bar. That's 100 promoters driving 25 views. And that's $250 that we can make on the average champagne with the Jamplify bar. A pretty nice price point. So our adoption strategy for these two products, we have two major awareness channels. First is blog relationships. We've already been featured in two major social media marketing blogs, and those have been fantastic for our awareness so far, and a direct contributor to our 25 or 23 campaigns we have running. There's also a very virtuous, viral, organic component to our product in that whenever somebody's promoting a digital content creator with Jamplify, they're also promoting Jamplify, and we benefit greatly from that. In addition, we're working to establish strategic partnerships with digital marketing agencies primarily who run the web presences and digital strategies for many digital content creators. We're also uh, interacting with fan engagement platforms to include the Jamplify bar in their platforms as an offering to their clientele. We're also establishing these relationships with management companies and labels, and Nashville has been fantastic for that. So you can see with these awareness channels and these distribution channels how they funnel through to actual product growth and champagne growth. In the first year, we're forecasting 4,000 Jamplify.com champagnes and 750 Jamplify bar champagnes. These, these numbers are actually relatively small when you consider that Kickstarter ran 20,000 campaigns in their first year. And you can see with this that the lion's share, the, the majority of our campaigns will be running on Jamplify.com. But when we translate this to revenue, we can see that the, the majority of our revenue is running on the Jamplify bar product. And that's thanks, th that's thanks to that larger price point and the broader application of that product. And when you put the revenue together with costs, you can see that the revenue increases at a much higher rate than costs. We're a technology business, so our primary costs are product development and sales and marketing. Um, but you can see as we gain market share, our costs remain, remain relatively subdued. So the market we're going after is the social marketing industry that David laid out for us. This is a relatively young industry, but it was still a $1.6 billion industry in 2011, and is forecasted to grow to a $5 billion industry in 2016, as digital content creators allocate more of their marketing spend to social media campaigns. In the last three months alone, we've seen five major exits in the social marketing space of over $100 million each. These five companies represent the most successful in the first wave of social marketing. And they really were built between 06 and 08, and they were built to serve two major purposes for their clients. 
First, it was presence. It enabled those digital content creators to establish their, their presence on, face, on Facebook and Twitter. And then once they had that presence and that following, it facilitated them distributing content to those people, whether that was coupons or product announcements or audio or video content. These are rather fundamental aspects of social media marketing. And now there's this new wave of companies emerging in the last year, and they have more progressive and innovative ways of engaging fans, and this is the activation wave that David laid out. They serve, these companies serve two major purposes. First is to activate the word of mouth potential of your fan base. You have all these people following you on Facebook and Twitter. How do you get them to talk about you? And then it's also the ability to track which fans are engaging with you the most and advocating for you the most, and then enabling you to reward them on that basis. So Jamplify is obviously playing in this space, and we're significantly differentiated from our competitors for three major reasons. First, Jamplify enables these digital content creators to reward real value. And in doing so, Jamplify dri drives real value in the form of traffic, real viewers of content. These other platforms listed here, they reward actions like tweets or likes or shares. Uh, but Jamplify enables these digital content creators to reward real traffic and real other people that are viewing content. The next point here is that Jamplify is, is useful and powerful for anybody with any type of content, as long as they have a website. And that's thanks to our Jamplify Bar product. And because of that Jamplify Bar widget, we're really able to, to live anywhere, on any website. And this widget is unique to our business, and none of our competitors have anything even close to this dynamic widget that we have. So this is the team that's getting it done. It's myself and Moses Loyola who left our jobs at Goldman in February of this year to found this company and run it full time. We both worked in social media marketing in the past and we really love this space and we're passionate about it. Matt Romans, our CTO, who joined in May and has been full time with us since then. He has over a decade of professional programming experience. Most recently, he was the VP of engineering at a search engine marketing, or search engine marketing firm in Long Island called Did It. Um, he understands the back end and the analytics of our product better than anybody we could have hoped for. Our, our team is complemented very well by our mentors, who, had a really broad, who have a very broad array and variety of skills and experience in online advertising, music, operations, and data analytics, and they add a lot to our team. We're raising $600,000 in seed financing to, to build what we're doing. Um, the Jamplify Bar product is currently in development, and we're really using a lot of that funds to make that product as dynamic and as engaging as possible, as that's our principal revenue driver. So our first hire will be a user experience developer to come on and really blow out that product and make it as attractive as possible for somebody who would want to load it into their website. We'll use some of this money to also fund our ongoing sales and marketing efforts as we establish those strategic partnerships that I mentioned previously. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to us today. We're looking for some investors who understand what we've built at Jamplify and the value that it provides. And uh, we'll be in Nashville through the end of next week. Uh, we'll be in New York for meetings the, the middle part of September and back in Nashville at the end of the month. So I look forward to having conversations with anybody who's interested. Thanks so much.